Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitcharo Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Ford Spoken is having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing, black screen, low FPS and how we can fix this app and also even stuck on loading screen as well as stuttering issue and even uh, DXJ error etc. All these kind of is issues which is happening for many of these is right now, how we can fix this app. So without wasting time, let me, let me directly get into the point. So the first one and the basic step, underline my words, this is just a basic step. You can try this. This did work. What you have to do is just exit the game. You have to close the game, exit from the Steam. For that, just go at the top, not just closing over here. Go at the top and exit the Steam. After that, restart your PC. Go over here in the start, go over here and restart a PC. After restarting, try to open the steam once again then try to play the game i don't know how this worked but this did work for some users you can try this out if that is not working the same then we just have to go to allow the game to windows security i mean allow the game exe file to the windows security for that just go over here now search for control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to the top left that is allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on this one now from here you have to scroll down and you have to add force spoken maybe by default it is already added right now as you can see the force spoken it's it's already added and keep keep in mind that when you're trying to do this step you have to make sure that both the private and public that means under force spoken the private and public should be checked if it is not there you have to click on allow another app click on browse and you have to navigate to the folder where the game is installed over here as you can see in my case the game is installed on local C. so i'll show you if it is not already added how to add this so go over here on the game go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam okay you can scroll down and navigate to steam Okay, click on Steam. Now from here, go to Steam Apps. Now from here, go to Common. So this is where the game is already installed. All the game will be installed over here. So from here, select the Folds Spoken folder. Open this. Now right now, as you can see, this is the application. So select this one and it is already added. Now if I click Add, I'll be getting an error because it's already added. So just add it. If it's not there, add it. And even if added, you have to make sure that both the this both things, that is private and public, should be checked. It should not be unchecked, it should be checked. After adding the game to the Windows security, go back to the Steam and try to play the game. That is what you can try out. Next one is all about you have to install graphics card manually. This is very important step, and this did work. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA for the MD users. So if you're on the NVIDIA, right now when you land on this page, you'll be getting an option like this. So from here, you have to select the product type, product series, product, operating system, language, and everything. So here the product is GeForce and my series is GeForce RTX 40 series. And the product is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. This is mine, so there is many other options, so I have to select the respective mine. And here I'm using the Windows 11, so I have to change the operating system to Windows 11. Go for a language English or the respective one which is your favorable. Now go for this and go for start search. When you go for start search, you'll be getting an option like this or you'll be getting a page like this. So when you go for start search, what you have to do is you'll be getting the page where it will be giving you the options like this. Now go to download now option. So right now it is getting downloaded. So this is what you have to do. So once you're done with downloading the respective one and install the respective one on your PC and after that you have to do everything. And once you're done with this, you can try with this. As well also if you go to, if you don't know how to get or if you forgot to click this link, you can directly search NVIDIA and you go to this page and go to drivers over here. Now you'll be getting a page like this. Once you give all the details like product type, product series, product operating system, Windows 11, etc. Everything, go for search as well. This is also going to work. When you do this, you'll be getting the version which is uh, 528.24, which is the latest one. And this has been released on 1st 
that means on 24 january that is 2020 2023 which means this is yesterday and this is the latest one which is around file 813.36 mb so which is applicable for both windows as well as for windows 11 so just download the respective one and install it on your pc right so uh, if you go to the md you have to do the same there are many users who play the game still with md so go to the graphics which is what you have to select now select the respective series from here like this and go for submit when you go for submit you will be getting two options or you'll be getting a page like this which means windows 11 64 bit windows 10 64 bit windows 7 64 and etc so uh, you have to know which one is yours actually so in my case i'm on 64 bit so i have to select this one and download this adrenaline version that is amd software i have to download this So uh, if you're on Windows 10 64 bit just download this one. So after downloading the Windows 11 64 bit you have to install the respective one on your PC and once you're done with this if you're on the AMD download and install AMD if you're on the Nvidia download and install A Nvidia after that you have to do a restart on your PC which is very really mandatory after doing the restart just go back to the game and try to play the game and the issues will be faded away. If it's not the same, we have to move to the next one. That is all about. You have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, you just have to go over here in the search. You have to search for graphics setting. You have to search for graphics settings. Now, from here, this is how it looks like. Right now, as you can see here, I've already added all the games. So what we have to do is we just have to add the game so it's not already there. For that, just click on the browse. So from here, like I said, we have to navigate to the installed folder. I mean, local disk where the game is installed. By default, all the games from the Steam will be installed on local disk C, unless and until you are not changing it. So here, I have to go to local disk C. Now from here, I have to scroll down and navigate to program file x86. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Steam. Now go to Steam. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Now go to Common. From here, you have to go to uh, scroll down and navigate to Full Spoken. You have to select this one and add it. So as you can see, it's already added. So now what you have to do is just have to click on this option, and by default, the graphic preference will be let Windows decide. So change this to High Performance and go for Save. Once you change this to High Performance and save it, you have to uh, close everything, go back to the Steam, try to play the game. This is this did work for many of the users. Next one, you have to launch the game from the installation folder. You can navigate to it in two way. One is from the Steam. One is but but you have to go to local disk C. So from the Steam, right click, go to properties, go to local file, click on browse option. So very easily you are on the folder where the game is installed. Right now, as you can see, if if you look at the path. This PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, full spoken. So now from here you can launch the game. This is very important step. This did work out for many of the users, and you can try to launch the game. And finally, I would like to add one more step from here itself because uh, you don't have to do it twice. You can do it from here itself. That is, try running the game as an administrator. For that, you just have to select the game. and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility over here as you can see this been not been set so check run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for okay and this is what you have to do once you done with this game will be launched in now launch the game try to play the game so both launch the game from the installation folder as well as uh, running the game as an administrator did worked for many users next one is all about deleting the save game files already deleting so if you completed few levels you can delete the same uh, uh, you can delete the save game file for that we have to go to documents so uh, over here from here you have to delete the folder of full spoken and keep in mind when you do this you'll be losing everything but this did work it for some users as well so i'm recommend you can try this out next one is all about you have to install Visual C++ on your PC. So I'll be providing link in the description to this. So this is uh, Visual C++ Studio. So I'll be giving this description so you don't have to worry. So from here you have to download 
uh, which you need to your PC based on the configuration. So here mine is 64 bit. So if you don't know how to check it, go over here and go to settings. Now from here, go to system. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to about. So uh, as you can see, the system type over here, it's 64 bit operating system, which is X64 based one. So I have to go back to the link, which I have given over here and I have to download this. So download and install Visual C++ after that, try to restart. After installing the Visual C++, restart the PC, then go back to the Steam and try to play the game. So restart is actually a mandatory one when you're downloading and installing some new application. So do not forget that particular step. Even some people ask in the comment sessions, I installed the Visual C++, but it's not working. And so you have to do a restart, which is quite mandatory. Next one, you have to disable Steam overlay as well as all overclocking applications. So for that, you just have to, what you have to do is you just have to go over here in the start. Now I'll be showing you one fact that if you go to the task manager over here, right now, as you can see, these things are running in the background. Here, I'm only using the apps that is Adobe Premiere Pro for editing Google Chrome, which I'm using right now, Screen Recorder, which I'm using right now, and Stuart Notepad Steam Task Manager. So these are the using I'm using right now. As you can see, these whole things are opened here. But apart from that, there are 84 apps, which is running in the background, especially Discord, then when it comes to this, then Wi-Fi, Logitech, and especially NVIDIA containers, etc., is all draining out my performance, which is causing the issue for crashing. So what I have to do is I just have to end everything one by one like this. I have to do this. So if you do like this, you can see that it, the number of uh, background process will be getting diminished. So you have to scroll down, especially the Discord is having a lot of role in this. Discord all the time bring a lot of messy and it makes a lot of nightmare for all the users. So just dis end the task for Discord as well. You have to, everything you have to eject it. I mean, you have to end the task. And regarding the disabling the Steam overlay, just go back to the Steam and on the library, select the game, right click and go to properties. Over here, what you have to do is under general, make sure that is enable the Steam overlay should be disabled unchecked that means it is disabling so steam overlay did work disabling the steam overlay did work at many users so you have to try the same and moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file so this is actually a very important step and this did work for many of the games as well as in my personal opinion so just go to the game right click and go to properties go to local file now click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit of time because the game is too heavy in the sense it's having a lot of uh, gb that's around 121.81 gb so it's going to take a bit of time but when these kind of steps is being done on a pc or laptop what happens is if any files are missed and if any files are corrupted and if any files are having any trouble from the game end and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so that is why we're recommending do you have to try verify integrity of game file all the time and this did worked so do not neglect this particular step you have to try this verify integrity of game file so let us do in this let this complete so we will move to the next one that is all about you have to perform a clean boot for that you just go to the search and search for system configuration so you'll be getting an option like this now from here go to services so right now these are the services so what you have to do is just click on hide all microsoft services and go for disable all right so uh or you can uh, do like disable all and hide all microsoft service it's not good so go for hide all microsoft services and disable it because i recently done this that is why this has been grayed out so after disabling all the services disable everything and go for okay then try to play the game this did worked and next one updating the game as well as the windows so forget about the game we have to update the windows so for that go over here on the settings now go to system or go to windows update at the bottom right now if you're getting any update just update it so right now as you can see update available to download which is last checked on today 2 32 am so i have to download and install it so if you're having any update just update it even cumulative updates are also fine just update it so windows should be on the latest uh, latest version 
because uh, when you're trying to play the game like you know full spock and god of war cyberpunk and all those things because they are a huge game so uh, the windows has to be the latest version of os so which is going to help you guys out or else you'll be having a lot of trouble so uh, there is no need of much explanation you can try this and this did worked so you can try in that way next one apart from this is all about you have to disconnect uh, multiple monitors usb devices if it's already connected and joystick everything should be completely ejected in the sense you have to remove everything if multiple monitors are there remove everything and if uh, you're kind of playing the game with controllers remove everything from the usb port and launch the game so after you launch the game you can connect it back i don't know how this is this did work or how this is working or how this is effective when it comes to the game not only for full spoken but this did work for god of war cyberpunk and all those things so remove everything from the usb port and launch the game after launching the game and the game is launched connect it back and try to play the game with even with the controllers this did work and the next one is all about you have to give few commands on the command i mean launch option that is dx11 and dx12 so i'm going to show you over here so you have to go to the game right click and go to properties now right now at the bottom we can see the launch option here we can give the command that is dx11 give the command dx11 then try to play the game okay not this one you have to make it uh, small dx11 give this command try to play the game if it's not working change this to dx12 and this did work so you can try that out so this is very important and next one apart from this is even after trying with this all these things updating the game graphic drivers and even if you're having the graphics uh, crashing issue that might be because you know uh, you have to roll it back to the older versions of graphics card so uh, for some users this did help it for my other game for for that just go to the this uh, task manager over here and go to uh, device manager go to display and adapters right now right click and go to properties go to driver so uh, you'll be getting an option roll back driver options and you can roll it back to the older versions if you wanted to because sometimes updating the latest versions brings more trouble so if that is the same we have to roll it back to the older versions and if you don't know how to do this just do like this deleting it's not going to work you have you have to do like this roll back the driver and after rolling back the driver we can uh, try to play the game with all the one with, that might be helping you guys out as well okay so uh, next one and the last and the least one is all about you have to increase virtual memory for that go over here and go to view advanced system settings so go or go over here and go to advanced select settings now go to advanced once again now you have to change the virtual memory for that you have to do like this and make sure the automatically managing paging file should be unchecked if you select this you'll not be able to select the local disk and also keep in mind you have to select the respective local disk where the game is installed in my case the game is installed on local disk c that's why i'm selecting this one so if your case if it's in in, in any other local disk you have to select the respective one go for custom size and you have to give the initial size as well as the maximum size so initial size is always uh, 1.5 times the total RAM. So I have to do a calculation. So uh, first I have to convert this. So I have to know what is my RAM. So if, if you don't know the RAM, just go to settings, go to uh, over here on system, scroll down and navigate to about, and from here it is visible. So minus 32 GB. So uh, you, ha you have to know what is yours actually. It might be 16, it might be 4, it might be 2, etc. So you have to know the RAM. And once you know the RAM, just go over here to the calculation. That is 32 GB is my RAM. So I have to convert this into 1024. So that is 32,768. Now the initial size is always 1.5 times the total RAM. So I have to multiply it with 1.5 times. That is 49,152. Now I have to paste it. Next one, I have to move to the next step. That is all about 32 GB, which I have to do the conversion. That is 1024. And once you're done with this, you have to multiply it with three. That is 98,304. Then just copy this value, which is fine maximum size. Paste it and go for OK. Then once you're done with this, restart your PC, then try to play the game. And that is going to work as well. So these are the possible workarounds you have to try out when you're trying to play the game and when you're having an issue with all these kind of issues regarding crashing not launching freezing black screen low fps stuck on loading screen 
uh, freezing and stuttering and all these kind of issues and how you can fix this up. So I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.